Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create some templates, just like we do with the CSR, but this time we're going to do them for the V-Edge devices. So we have two V-Edges, you can see are up. And um, if we go back to the network, see we have V-Edge 1 and V-Edge 2, and I deleted that CSR, um, which is why we see control down here. So let's jump right into it. So this video is going to be a quick or a quicker one. I'm just going to do the kind of the same thing we did where I'm going to go to the VH cloud. We'll create a system template first. So I'll call this one VH system. Um, if this was a production network, by the way, you'd probably want to be more descriptive than that, but that's okay for our purposes. So we're going to keep this stuff as variable. Um, I am going to set the time zone um, there. The baud rate I'm also going to set to default. Keep the default baud rate. And other than that, I think we're good to go. All right. So now I'm going to do this again. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our two VPNs. So here's VPN zero, which again is going to be our management VPN. Okay, we'll keep this at VPN zero. We'll give it a name. We'll call it transport. Um, remember, this is our underlay for the fabric. I will need an IPv4 route. So let's create a default route. Let's add a next hop to it. Let's call it device specific. And I'm going to give it a more descriptive name by just adding a zero there, uh, just in case we needed routes for other VPNs in the future. And that's it for this one too. All right, let's add one more VPN. We need to add our VPN 512. Let's go ahead with the VH Cloud VPN. Okay. VH VPN 512. Whoops. Um, okay. So here we do have to change this. Let's set the name to management. And for here, we actually, I don't need to do anything. I'm not doing much with the management VPN. So the only thing we'll have to do to finish off this basic ones until we get into more interesting things is let's set the VPN interface ethernet. Now in our case, we are going to have Let's call it VPN zero uh, int. And I don't remember what specific interface I gave this. So let's go to VEDGE one and let's see that. All right, zero zero is going to the internet. And it's going to be the same on VEDGE two. Zero zero is going to the internet. So, uh, sorry about that, wrong window. Int. We'll just call it GE0. Perfect. So we don't want it shut down. So we're going to global no shut this. Interface name is also going to be global. And we're going to do GE00. Zero, zero. Now we're going to have a static IP. It's going to be device specific. Um, VPN0. I F G E zero. Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to do is turn on the tunnel. And we're going to set a default here because we're going to use this for our internet. So the color we can, it could be arbitrary. We could say it's green or bronze, blue, whatever. But for us, it makes sense to just choose business internet. Other than that, we need to allow services to it. So let's go on there. Let's make sure netconf 
and SSH are also on. All right. And that should be it for our interface for VPN zero. All right, now we just need to do the same thing for the VPN 512 interface, and this one is gonna be a lot easier. Because in this one, we just do a vEdge VPN 512. Um, it's ETH0. Oh, whoops, I didn't. Uh, 512 ETH0. Okay, there we go. And again, we want to do a no shot. We want to do ETH0. And we set it to dynamic. And that's it for this one. So now that we have our two VPNs, two interfaces, and our system, let's create the device template. So create the template from feature template. All right, so we can name our template the edge cloud. Um, let's call it static because we're using a static IP. All right, pick our system, pick our VPN zero, our interface. Oops, come on. All right, pick VPN five twelve. Add our VPN interface. And that's all we had done. Let's go ahead and create the template. All right, now with our template created, we can start adding devices. So let's go ahead and attach vEdge one first, and then I'll show you how easy it is to attach a second device. All right, from here, all we have to do is attach our device-specific options. So in this case, it's going to be, uh, we already have the system IP up here, uh, which I may need to go back. Um, actually, no, we're good. So the site ID is going to be 11. The system IP, 11111. Um, host name is going to be VEdge1. And I actually can see I did make a mistake because I forgot to add the next top IP address. So let's cancel out of this. Go back to the feature template for that interface, which is gig1. I'm sorry, VPN one, I mean, VPN zero, not the uh, interface. The IPv4 route, I forgot to add it. So this is something you need to remember to do. Device specific VPN zero next top. You have to hit add here, but you also need to hit add here. Now we can update it. Okay, now we can go ahead and attach our devices to the template. And all right, that makes sense. All right, so there's our next stop, our default gateway. Fill the IP address, VH1, the system IP is 11111, site ID is going to be 11. All right, so now we can update, go to next. Now we validate our configuration. Again, this isn't going to validate that your figures are correct, it's just going to validate that the syntax is correct. But we should make sure, okay, that's the IP address we want, that's our next hop, so we don't lose control of the device. So let's go ahead and configure our first one. And I'll just go ahead and pause the video. 
until it says success. All right, we have our success. So we can go back to our devices. And we can see that our first VAG is in VMANAGE mode. And to show you how quickly it is to start rolling out devices, for our second one, all we have to do is attach a device and do the same exact thing. So this is really the power of templates. If you got to roll out 100 V edges, it becomes easy. Oh, I just need to put in, you know, a few device values. So this one is going to be 101.2.1. Um, actually, is that correct? Hold on. I need to just check my values. One dot one dot two dot two. One dot one dot two dot one. Okay. So that's fine. Twenty four. The edge two. Site twenty two. and we can configure. All right, now that that was a success as well, we can go back to our devices. See, both of them are in vManage mode. So on the next video, we can start doing some more interesting thing, things like configuring a service-side VPN and pushing traffic.